Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. Now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every preacher of God good, nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. This is Timothy speaking here. And who is Timothy? Timothy was a follower of the Apostle Paul. Little Timothy is a bit upset about something that he has received from the Spirit about churches. And he's speaking here specifically of the Pauline Gentile churches. But you would have to do just a little research to confirm what I'm saying here. Because there are more going on here than meets the eye. There is more going on here that you can just pick up on by casual reading of the writings of 1st Timothy. And you would really need to understand that there is a historical backdrop to this situation, to this writing. What you're really reading here is a theological uh, commentary. I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that as we progress in this study. Anyway, the issue that I want to draw your attention to is this. All these things that Timothy is presenting here are, they're things that have already began to take place within the Pauline Christian church. These are things that have already began to take place. There's a lot of problems that's going on in these churches. There are a lot of problems that are starting to break out in Paul's European churches. And that's because of the sudden influx of many heathen Gentiles joining the church, joining on to the church. The Judea, Hebrews, the black Jews, that are part of Paul's ministry, they'll begin to clash with these Gentiles. These Gentiles coming in, they're beginning to become arrogant, antagonistic, hostile toward the, the Judea, and diametrically opposed to the Judean faith and the Mosaic law. What I want to draw your attention to is, especially verse 3. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, where it reads, Forbidding to marry and commanding and commanding to abstain from me, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, unless you have an historical reference, What's taking place here, you won't see it. There's an issue going on. There's some things going on behind the scene. There's some things going on between the Gentiles and the Hebrew followers of Paul. Also, let me point out something that a lot of you may not know. Timothy. Timothy's mother was a white woman. I'll say that again. Timothy's mother was a Gentile. His father was a black Jew, and his mother was a white woman. That's right, brother. We didn't just start marrying them white gals. <laughs> Let's be real. Some white women be looking good. Right? Verse 4. Verse 4. Every creature of God is good 
and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Uh-oh, there it goes. There goes the downside of the jungle people. <laughs> be careful, don't catch that jungle fever. You may love to these Gentiles if you want to, but your boy might come out thinking like Timothy. What? Timothy said, every creature of gold is good. Good for what, Tim? I know you ain't talking like Paul. I know you're not suggesting, Timothy, that every creature, every beast of the field. I know, I know you're not saying that every creature that the Almighty created is good for food. Because if that's what Timothy chapter 4 verse 4 is saying, then I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to let those of you who have been studying these lessons with me, I'm just going to let you check that out yourself. I'm going to let you check that. Because I'm pretty sure you can pull the script right now that can cut that. Timothy is off. I've already shared it with you a number of times how the Hebrews, the, the Judeans, and when I speak of the Hebrews or the Judeans, I talk about the black Jews that were in the Pauline church. They tended to stick with the dietary laws. And they were not really that comfortable with fellowshipping with these Gentiles who were coming into the church. Why? Because to be told, Gentiles are by nature just nasty and unclean. Y'all can get mad with me if you want to. You can, you know, stop watching my video. Oh well. Uh uh. Listen, Negro. Listen. You worried about the wrong thing. Number one. Why are you concerned with what I got on? What you need to concern yourself with is these scriptures that you got wrong. Be worried about these false scriptures. Be worried about these scriptures you got mixed up. That's what you need to worry about. Don't, don't worry about Don't be talking about what's up with that cow. What's up with your doctrine being off? You, why you got these Hebrew scriptures off? Since you worried about my cow. Don't be trying to take the attention away from the subject by folks focusing attention on how I'm dressed. You need not waste your time checking my dress style. Because for your information, I ain't in it no YouTube fashion contest. But do know this, Negro. I know how to dress and when to dress my best. And yes, you have yet to see me in my royal robes. Right now, I'm just at home making these simple YouTube video clips. You know? That's all. So, don't concern yourself. What you need to concern yourself with is this. You need to concern yourself with why you got the Hebrew scriptures wrong. Or, or Paul got them wrong. Or Peter got them wrong. Or Timothy got them wrong. Or the New Testament writers got them wrong. Maybe it was the translators. I can't say. But I can say that they got them wrong. And if you follow in the Apostle Paul, if you follow the Apostle Paul there, you got them wrong too. 